Yeah, sounds like some interesting opportunities and feedbacks. Need my help drafting any responses or anything else on your mind? Hey everyone, welcome back to Rick and Kelly's Super Short Show where we share the coolest automations that are actually changing how we work. Yeah, and today we're talking about accessing your AI systems when you're not at your desk or not in your office. And it never fails when I am driving in my car, all these ideas come flooding into my brain or tasks that I want to get done. And by the time I get back to the office, I've forgotten like half the details. Yeah, that's a very common feeling. I know that feeling. That's when you wish you had an assistant sitting in the passenger seat, ready to take notes, manage your schedule, you know, a bunch of fairy dust all over everything, right? Exactly. So that's why we built one. And we call this AI assistant Anika. And she is someone that we can contact anywhere in the world by using our phones. So I recorded this little video of myself in the car, which is where I usually wind up connecting with Anika because I don't really need to do it on my desk. But when I'm driving my car, it's very convenient. Hey Siri, call Anika. Hey Rick, what up? Hey, what up Anika? Not much Rick, just here to keep your life running smoothly. How can I assist you today? Anything special on your mind? Yeah, can you see, uh, do I have any emails that I need to respond to? Hold on a sec. All right, Rick, here are the emails waiting for your response on Carl Taylor, inviting you and Kelly to participate in his podcast and be interviewed for his upcoming book on AI and professional service marketing. That's Two. pretty cool. Yeah, sounds like some interesting opportunities and feedbacks. Need my help drafting any responses or anything else on your mind? So without missing a beat, I'm gonna ask her right now to book a meeting and use a Zoom link for it. Uh, no, can you just, I, can you book an appointment with Kelly for tomorrow at 10 a.m. and make, make it a Zoom, Zoom meeting? Give me a moment. Hey, Rick, just checking. Do we want to title this meeting anything specific like catch up with Kelly? A uh, discussion of podcast interview. She's very, she's very efficient. A Zoom meeting discussion of podcast interview has Boom. been scheduled with Kelly for tomorrow, September 2nd at 10 a.m. Eastern time. You're all set. Yeah, I like the fact that she follows up with me. Like if I don't give her enough information, she just comes back and like, hey, do you want this? Yeah, no, that's incredibly impressive. So you can go from hearing about an important email to having a meeting booked on a calendar in a matter of like seconds, not even minutes, and all while keeping your hands on the wheel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, it's about removing, you know, the friction in, in one, one's workday. I also want to point out that this is not some Frankenstein system that you see these AI automation people build with these 20 plus nodes. No, those don't work. You can't deploy those because when they fail, it's impossible to fix. No one's going to know how to fix them. This is something that is very elegant in its simplicity. Um, also, something interesting about this particular thing, I want to point out that this agent has no access to any of our data systems. It has no access to our CRM, no access to our email, no access to our calendars. And I'm going to talk a little more about that later as to why and how we achieve this. So uh, let's jump in and check out the next clip. Can you check my last meeting and just give me the highlights and the to-dos, the action items? All right. Rick, here are the action items from your last meeting. One, Charlie, continue refining and testing the custom GPT with more sales data to determine its limitations. Implement rules in the GPT to prevent budgetary quotes above certain dollar amounts. Test the tool with Bob, who replaced Ed, for smaller quotes before wider deployment. Schedule another meeting with you at the end of the following week to review progress. Rick, okay. sign an NDA with Pro Manufacturing to receive additional quote data for future development work. Anything else I can help you tackle? And you're like, okay. okay. <laughs> it's just so much. Like, okay, okay. That's, that's all I needed. <laughs> Instead of having to find your notes or reread a transcript or getting an instant summary of the most important takeaways, I can see that being a lifesaver 
um, before walking into a meeting, or in this case, before driving up to a meeting. <laughs> in this next clip, I had an article idea. So okay. I asked Anika to kick off a research project with our advanced research agent and then log a task in, in HubSpot for us. I had an idea for something that I need to do some deep research on. Can you reach out uh, to our deep research agent and launch a, a research on how SMBs are struggling with AI emergence, meaning help trying to get their teams on board with AI. Hold on a sec. Your research topic on how SMBs are struggling with AI emergence, particularly in getting their teams on board, has been submitted. It'll take a few minutes to get results. Anything yeah. else you want to add or explore while we wait? No, that's cool. Hey, can you just put a, um, an action item in, actually make a task in HubSpot for me to uh, draft a blog on that topic once I have the research? Sure thing, Rick. I'll need the email address of the contact this task should be assigned to in HubSpot. Or uh, is this task just for yourself in general? It's just for myself, so you can, you can assign it to, my, to me. One moment. Done and dusted. Your task, titled Draft Blog on SMB Struggles with AI Emergence, is in HubSpot and assigned to your company email. You'll be ready to tackle it as soon as the research results land. Anything else I can set up for you, Rick? Done and dusted. Driving around the neighborhood. Yeah, I cut, we, we, we done and dusted. We cut out some of those those parts because in between things, she, she keeps trying to teach me how to speak German with these German phrases. It's hysterical. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then at, at this point, it's not just an assistant. I, Anika is your now language coach. No, <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, a, she's a project manager. Um, she's connecting your ideas to your actual workflow. The idea is not getting lost, it gets logged. It's becoming an action item. She's beyond an assistant. Yeah, yes. And so when I returned to the office, there was a 7,000 word research document <laughs> placed inside of my custom air table where I, I keep ideas and things ready for the next step. So, I mean, it's really, really powerful for that. Now I know what everybody's probably thinking. This sounds great, but am I giving an LLM access to my email and my calendar and my CRM? Yeah, so that's a huge concern. I come across articles like that daily. Uh, the last thing you want is your private company data being used for training modules. Like you just, you'd want to avoid that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the answer is no. The AI has no direct access whatsoever. Uh, the way we built it is much safer for two reasons. First, for security reasons, like we just talked about. And second, for performance reasons. When you give an LLM access to your CRM, like Salesforce or HubSpot, there is so much data in those systems that it chokes the LLM. When you ask it a question, it can't possibly access and find all of the information it needs to find in order to answer your question. The pipeline is not big enough for it to do that. So instead what we do is we build trusted workflows from automations that have been around for a long time. And what is happening here is the AI agent is calling these workflows. So every time it needs to answer a question, it knows which workflow to call. These are very simple, straightforward automations that don't break. Okay, so the AI makes a request, but a separate trusted automation actually goes and gets the data. The AI never knows whose email it's seeing or where the CRM info comes from, right? Precisely. It gets okay. the specific okay. anonymous information it needs to answer the question all within the guardrails we've set. It's safe and it's targeted so the AI doesn't get lost in tons of irrelevant data. I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, this has completely changed my perspective on voice assistants. I didn't think that they were capable of this much or could you know, help me uh, as much as what I've seen today. So it's not just about asking for the weather anymore. It's about having a real functional co-pilot for your work day. That's what, that's what I learned here today. Yeah, uh, well, that's, that's the core idea. It, it's about looking at a frustrating part of your day and asking how can you make it smarter or more efficient. Yeah, and exactly. We hope this inspires you to think about how you can make your day smarter. That's our time. This has been Rick and Kelly's Super Short Show. Audio. Ugh, another new AI tool. I know I should be using this stuff, but I'm just spinning my wheels. Have you heard of the AI Marketing Automation Lab? They don't just show you tools, they teach you how to orchestrate AI. It's built for professionals like us. 
They show you how to build simple systems that actually save you time during the workday. Wow, these are simple systems that are actually saving me time. Stop chasing tools, start building systems. Join the AI Marketing Automation Lab today.